Welcome back everybody to Raspbian Gaming Presents. This is our ongoing Platinum Trophy playthrough and game guide for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are finishing up in Norway. We have the quest birthrights in front of us. You can see find and speak to Sigurd. Yes, we are in the higher powered area. That's where the quest takes you very briefly. So let's go ahead and get this done. Find him in the town here. You can see we still have some collectibles out there. Um, we'll leave those alone until we come back later, by the way. Your clan is a foul stench. We are strong, Aggie. So just go in the ale house here. I'll fast forward like I always have been through a bunch of these conversations. Feel free to listen to all those conversations on your own. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. So he put on Bass and put on his cloak. You can too by pushing and down. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. So throughout the rest of the game, when you're in distrustful areas you'll automatically hood unless you turn that off in your options Gorm is there in the camp ahead okay so we need to enter his cabin this should be an exercise in how to be stealthy you can see the orange along the um, compass, that means you're in a distrustful area. What were you, thinking? you can still Taking crouch and go in stealth mode, which will get stomach. you closer to Gorm's cabin. Uh, uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. You just want to try to avoid go. doing the running. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. So just interact with the Eve. door. You are her shit. Take up your weapon and fall. You did. Uh, you are. You are. Keep. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. So now that you're not in the distrustful area, we can go ahead and uncloak. I prefer to be uncloaked. And we can get started here. We do have another artifact that we're close to. We can mark it right here. And we can get this wealth that's in town as well. So the ones that are in town we can do. This is another one of those. Um, chase the tattoo papers. So let's see if we chase the paper things. Is the controls become a little bit unmanageable at times. But we're staying pretty close this time. Looks like we may be able to do this without having to resort to chasing it along the ground. Whoops, we need to go the other way. These are my second least favorite thing to do. The anomalies are the least favorite thing I have in this game. There we go. So that one's collected. There's a chest over here in town we can grab, so we'll just run off the roof here. A couple more skill points. That's partially why you want to do all this stuff that you can. Even though this is in a higher level area, you can get more skill points and give yourself a good start in England. And if you're going for the Platinum Trophy, which is presuming why you are watching this video, you're going to have to collect all these anyways. That's just the way it works. <gasps> ah. 
So this one we have to enter underground, by the way. I'll show you, you can see it goes down right there. So shoot this down to make the opening below accessible. Don't worry about all the smoke and dust. And then we need the key. In the future, I'll try and grab the keys first. Come on. There you go, Eivor. But it's in a steaming pile of pig shit. We'll grab the key. There we go. So again, just showing you all the different dynamics that's what the game is doing on how to work things. Going from finding a key to finding an uh, unlock ability for a door. Extra starting cash. Come on, turn and hit something. There we go. the ammo is full because we ran by some arrows so that one's done and that should be all except for oh we have one more paper chase over here and then we have this world event here and then there's a small chest right here or a lesser chest not sure how you guys want to call it I'm used to calling them small chest versus the big chests that you need for the collectibles but this one will start up there on that tree, this chase. You can see how those guys are um, red skull. That means they're really strong for us. They're four times our level at the moment, which is very, very strong. Okay, here we go. So just chase it down this canal. Grab it. There we go. So, of course, with these tattoo designs that you're getting, um, obviously, when you get your own tattoo in barbershop, you can change your views if you want. How you look and put on different tattoos. I didn't do that. Normally, I'm not a fan of the starting tattoo of Eivor with the Raven Clan design in the side of her head. Smaller chest and this is in this building. Oh. Below you can see the dot right there. Okay, let's go do the world event. This one's kind of fun one. For you, right? So speak Does to her. In play their love game so she well. wants her no, husband no. to raid her. <laughs> if you, as a man of speaking, so you need to go in here and inspire him. Strong Vikingar, today we raid. Raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. All right, so then you just need to start busting stuff up here. Oh, yes, yes. Let us go, king. Maybe you. It is uh, amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. So get out the torch. Yes. Burn down our house! Burn, Burn down their the house. Ground. What did it? I am as hard as Heimdale's tower! 
Then run me like the Valkyrie skates and enter Valhalla. Take <laughs> yeah. all plunder nice. you want, Vikinger. And take us also and let the love hunger consume you. Um, not a time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. So then I'll give you the key here when this is completed, the rekindling. Lock it and grab the loot and that one is done too so now with most of that stuff done we can um, go ahead and get on with the quest let's get out of Norway here so we need to go to the longhouse which is inside the fortress area here And we gotta go around the sides to get in. Yeah, I thought it was that door, other door. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward through all this stuff. Their father bends the knee to King Harold. Harold. They're not happy about it. Doesn't matter what you pick. Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. So Gorm, we're gonna tell him to exile him. Rather than kill him. Say so bound to Sigurd. We're not gonna stay in Norway. We're gonna go with him. We're gonna get to leave Norway now. Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Because he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. All right, couple more skill points. Aren't you pleased with yourself? So after the quest concludes, you'll find yourself here in Fornberg. We need to go find Sigurd. He's in the longhouse. Alrek's daughter has a nicer feel. More lived, more built up. Ah, it's not that bad. Knock on the door. It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The and we have a conversation. But indeed, I did. We decided we're going to we're gonna head to England. You Shut out. And you want to leave the resources in Steerborn. Um. It's, there's a bunch of story choices revolving Sigurd um, and keeping him by your side. There's five choices. You need to have three of them being the positive for him. We're going to leave all five. So this if is the object, first one. I understand. Good. And then Valka the Seer, she will come later. Speak to Sigurd the Doctor. So let's take a look at our skills. Where are we? We're going to be 27. Still probably not enough to take on the dude at 90. We're heading towards this adrenaline upgrade. We have four. We should be able to get there. One, two, three, four. Oh, because it wasn't showing the whole tree, so let's just grab the adrenaline slot. And then next, we're going to jump down here to these skills and start adding some of these ones right here. So, um, Raven Loot, we have already. Lightfinger, these are some, some of the ones we had from before. 
but Intense Rage, this is a good fighting one. You can see Ignored Hit Interruptions. This is an empty offhand ability. So is this one, so I'm not really a fan of those down there. So gain adrenaline as long as you remain in conflict, so your adrenaline ri uh, continues to, to rise and gives you a chance to use your abilities more, so this is a really good one. I think this is the poison trap. Yeah, Assassin's Cantrip. Chain Assassination. This is the next one we get to. Now that we have the adrenaline, then we head over to the other side. Abilities, we picked it up, we saw it, but we haven't. This is marked for death. We need to assign it to a spot. There we go. All right, and then one last thing to do before we leave. Uh, before we leave Norway, and that's to get the trophy for the slide. So let's take a look at where we have to do that at. That's over here by this fast travel point. That's why I had it wrong. I had the wrong little piece of the island. You want to look for the, like this big kind of cut. We're actually going to go down next to it. So from like right here is where you want to start your slide you want to head through there and what else do I have marked here let me remove all the marks first and then make new ones for you guys so here here and then we're gonna end down here ish somewhere down here so fast travel up here oh this is the one with the polar bears I was mentioning earlier that one's pretty easy so let me um, fast travel up here and then we'll go do this slide I'll also show you where Thor's hammers at that you have you actually have to get it for a trophy oh we missed the jump again almost killed us it's not good But you can't get that to the end of the game. Um, to actually get the hammer and um, get it unstuck from the rock that it's in, you have to have all Thor's armor equipped. And you can't get the last piece of gear, the 40, um, the cloak, until you've killed um, all 45 members of the Order of Ancients. So. It's just not obtainable until the end of the game. But I can show you where it's at. In case that's something you want to do or you're not sure where, where it is or how to get there. Come on, Eivor. Drop on down. Didn't realize this one was as far away as it was. It's like that warning in your rear view mirror. Things may not be at the distance they appear. It's like this one. And I should actually check the inventory, see if we can upgrade. So we, so it's not lit. So you can see we, we need um, Gunner's Forge to upgrade the axe, uh, our dagger any further. And you can see there's polar bear waiting for us. And one down below waiting for us. So we try to hit the weak spot. And he's down. The raven will go get him. Get our loot for us. And then we can break in the wall right here and loot the chest. There's some more loots over here. And the skeleton. And now we can head off to our marks and get this trophy out of the way. Oh, darn it, he's right there. We can get him anyways. Yeah. 
Raiders. That's all we have to go to be with that bush. Yes, I rushed him. be a pole over here kind of marking the area. I noticed that the first mark was missing. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. So if you're following that trail and you see this pole with the red flag, you know you're in the right area. And you can see the steepness in this area, so we just want to head down it. On the PS4, this took me two tries, so we may not get it on the first try. So we're sliding a little bit. It starts right here. And you want to make sure you stay to the right over here, by where we have our number two mark. Just to the left of this rock. Or just to the right of this rock on the left. And then, yeah, we we missed it. You have to get to the right, right there at the end, so that you keep sliding. So what we can do, we have to slide down, and then we'll go back and do it again. Because we missed. So the path is a little bit tricky. But we should be able to do it. So you want to come down near this rock and then go over to the left there where the other piece of the rock is sticking up on the other side. So let me make sure we mark the beginning again. Marked it a little bit low. We've got to cross over though. Okay, so we can do this again. This is this should be mark number one. Let me remove that. Mark number one should be right here. And then this will be two. This is that little area that can cause you trouble if you're not careful with it. Let's get this slide going. So you kind of want to pass this rock on the left just a little bit and then head to the right. And make sure you keep sliding. There we go. And then turn in this corner. And it should pop when we get through these two rocks. There it is. All done. You guys got it. If you followed this, good job. So let me remove the mark. There's some other minor ones out 
or we have one major one left? Oh, it looks like a couple miners are together. So all we have is one mystery left in this Reykjavik area, however you it, Reykjavik, and that's the Drenger. And then we have a bunch of stuff left in the hard area. Um, Thor's hammer is up in this area over here. But you can't get there until later in the game anyway. It's, so it is just what it is. So let's head back to Fornberg. And get the fork out of Dornberg. Or the Dorn out of Fornberg. Something like that. Anyways. Don't forget to friend and follow us on Twitch if you're on YouTube. Like the videos. Subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Enjoying having you guys along. As we finish up the Norway part of the game and we head to England, we'll pop the next trophy. So we need to speak to Sigurd at the docks. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of the as Okay, we're ready, ready now, so we can get going. We left a bunch of minor chests behind. It'll be all right. You guys will survive. There's way more. Sigurd, what is this assembly? An axe, not my. We're telling um, our dad we're heading to we England. Be to heck with you. And he tells us to be Sigurd's better half. So off we go. But there's plenty of supplies and raw material, by the way, in England to grow your settlement to level 6, which is a requirement, by the way. You gotta sit down, make this get going. There's also, for clearing two, I forget, two or three areas um, in England, they have automatic settlement upgrades. So you want to get those done with uh, the minimal amount of building already happening in England. It'll, it'll just speed you along your journey. You don't want to waste those. So here we go, going to England. Done with Norway until the very, very end of the game. Like I mentioned, also the trophy to get um, Thor's hammer, which by the way I already have. I have that trophy. That's the only trophy that uh, transferred over from my PS4 save. I tried to, I think I mentioned this, auto pop all the trophies. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, that was the only trophy that, that transferred over. So we have an end game trophy and then we have a bunch of beginning ones. And there we go get the opening visuals credits for the game and there's the next trophy to England all right I will start streaming this again when we get to England you guys take care as I mentioned before don't forget to subscribe we're gonna go through this ridiculous parts in the present Let's skip this. In a lecture at the University of Cambridge. Since the mass this has resulted unfortunate. Alright. You're so a long way from home, Avor. Hmm. Let's examine the skeleton. Oh. Head back in the house. That's well, right? Okay. And then we can jump back in. Enter the animus. All right, time to go. Norway to England. No, I don't. That's adult here. Step. Okay. Fast forward through all the conversations. In this game, the present time. Outside of the Animus has almost no bearing on the game whatsoever. There's only a little bit of it that ever really matters. And it's at the very end of the game. Um, I think that's part of why they changed for Mirage. And went back to old school stuff. We'll see how it is. Um, 
but there we are. Here comes England. 873 CE. I guess that's the, the new school way um, for people to refer to time. Instead of BC and AD. There she is. England. Which is how it was for 2,000 years, and now we got to change it so we don't offend some people. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy! All right, as soon as he Sigurds drops talking, then I'm going to pause this and we'll end the video. And I'll pick it up again as we're sailing to meet the rest of the people we're supposed to meet. Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes, I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do yeah, not, the right but they will waiting. not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Okay, so just ending it right there while we go on with the rest of the conversation you guys take care be safe out there don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you with the next stream thank you for following along take care